Hi, this is Asin. Today, I'd like to share how to change the size of a shape on cell change without affecting the central position. So, on the change sign shape, we have four circles here. If let's say we would like to change the size according to a specific name, means that when the VB run, we have to change the size according to a particular name given here. We can actually change the name under the name box, meaning to say we just have to click the shape, then we go to the name box and we click, then we change accordingly, after that we just enter. So the name will be changed according to what we want over here. Then if let's say we want to change the size by using a ratio of the values appear here, then we can actually use the VB coding. So we go to developer tab, then we look for Visual Basic. Then for the respective sheet itself, the sheet number two, under the object, we look for worksheet. Then because we want to change the size of the shape on cell change, so we have to change it to change for the procedure so for the one that not related we can actually delete since we want to use a ratio for the change for example the given value over the maximum so we need a we need an unknown to record the maximum value so we the application dot worksheet function then we can call the maximum function so maximum for a given range so we have the range function starting from the cell b2 so sheet 2 dot cells row 2 column then the last cell we have sheet two dot cells. This this is sheet number two. So the num numbering must be correct. So the fifth fifth row, the second column. Okay, so we have enough brackets already. So the first bracket and bracket for sheet. Second for range, third for max. So once it's already done, then we can apply for loop. So for i to equal to one, two, four. Since we have four circles here, then we can change the width and the height of the shape. So we have sheet one dot shape the shapes okay one shapes we have here now we have to use the range so that we can determine we can introduce what kind of shape given here so by using array then we can type the name so since the name is already fixed over here we just have to change according to the given name here so instead of typing the name one by one so this is the advantage of using for loop so we can use according to the variable i so sheet two dot cells okay how the name change the name change from second row to the fifth row of the first column so we will have the row index so means that i if let's say I start from i, then will be wrong because one equal to i equal to one. One is the oval, it's not the a b c, so it's wrong. So we have to plus one here. Then for the first column. Okay, once it's already done, then we dot. Okay, we need another bracket for the range. Then we dot. Okay, this is. The close bracket for a range, so we need another close bracket for the range. Then we dot okay, let's say we, we want to change the height. 
So how should we change? We change according to. Okay, so since we decided to use a maximum of size 4 cm for each circle. So 4 cm meaning to say is approximately 114 points. So we times, okay, what is the expected ratio? So we have for the number that we run through the for loop. So it means that for the first row of the second column. So we are sheet two dot cells. Again, same I plus one. Then instead of the first column, we move to the second column. So this one should be sheet number two. Okay, then the whole thing we over A since A is the maximum. So this is the ratio that we need to change. If I say this value is the maximum value, so maximum over maximum means that for example 100 over 100 we get ratio 1. So meaning to say the shape will remain at the same size. So if let's say we want 114 be the maximum size, then we write 114 here. Next, we change the width. So we can actually copy and then we paste over here, then we change the width. So the for the width is actually the same idea. We can actually copy the entire line and then we paste here. So we just have to change accordingly so change height to width since this is a circle so the maximum value and how it should be changed will be exactly the same if we start from one after the first one is already completed then we should go to the next i so remember to type next i Okay, let's see what happened. So for example, if let's say we change the first value to 50. So the value, the, the circle change to a smaller shape. It should be half of the other. So what can we see just now? The shape is actually shifted to the left top instead of maintaining the central position so this is not the one that we want so what we have to do okay we reset everything change back to 100 and see so we back to the same position now if let's say we want to change to different size without changing the central position so what we have to do here is introduce another function okay let's try so we will first introduce another two variables so we will use b okay then we copy the height so let b equal to the height the original height and c be the original width okay the purpose of introduce these two are uh, known is actually to record the current position, the current central position, meaning to say every time the shape will change according to its current central position. Because if let's say for the first time it's reduced to the half of its original size, if we use that the original size to make the change, then it might be shifted to the left shifted to the right or any any other places that we don't want which is not from the center means that not, the enlargement is not made from the center point so what we have to do we need this two to tackle the center point to make sure the center position is not affected so what we have to do here just introduce another two functions the increment function 
so increment top and increment left okay let's try so we just have to copy the shape so dot we changed from height to top because the height will actually change the increment top position so we dot increment top position so bear in mind that negative will shift the circle to top positive will shift to bottom so what we need here is i will use this is the purpose of having the unknown so i will use b okay b is the current position i will say so we minus the change if let's say the idea of using this method is for example if the circle shifted to means that the circle is actually i will illustrate using a circle here so for example this is the original circle so let's say the circle is actually become bigger so as we can see the excel is actually fixed this point the point the right top point the left top point is fixed so meaning to say the excel is actually changing in this way so meaning to say if let's say we make it bigger then the circle is actually the cent the center point of the circle is actually shifted to the right and bottom so what we have to do here is we have to make it become opposite means that we have to reverse the process so make it top and left so what we have to do that's why we apply minus so we minus the size that change so if i say so we copy the size change now this is the new size because this is the size that we already apply the change so we minus the change okay we have to bear in mind if let's say the original size is 50 point so if let's say we enlarge another 50 point means i make the circle become double then we have to make sure the change is balanced so that the central will still at the middle so meaning to say increase by 50 point we have to over two so that become 25 for each sign for the left and right then for this case will be top and bottom so it's very important for us to divide two over here okay then we do the same thing we just have to copy the entire line and then we paste so what we have to do now is we change top to left okay then because of the width is recorded by c so we use c then shouldn't be high but we use a width okay once it's already done now we check so every time what we have to do here is we start from the fixed value means that everybody having the same value so that when this change apply then the central point is already recorded correctly if let's say we start from different values then the center point might not record it might not be recorded correctly so i would suggest that we start from the same value then only we change to a respective or the actual value that we want so for example like abc we want to change it to 50 so we notice the circle that as we can see now the center point will still be that so to let you all see clearer so i will insert another circle so that i will make it roughly at the middle to tackle the center point okay so i make it to a sharper color okay so for others as well so we can see clearer later okay so approximately at the center of the circle 
So center of the circle. Okay, now we apply the change and save. So change to 90. Okay, how about if let's say we change the maximum instead of 100, we change to 200. So as we can see, all is actually changed from the central point. Okay, now this one, how about I change back to 150. So as we can see from the center, no longer shifted. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.